Hello everyone and welcome to my first episode of my Space Engineers Let's Play. And this is my first video on YouTube, this is ET Gaming. Now I'd like to show you today this ship which I built and will be on the workshop very soon. It's a small atmospheric vessel which will be able to go interplanetary very fast and very easily. Now sadly I can't test this because I'm a DirectX 9 user and can't run planets myself but I'm pretty sure it would work with that big atmospheric hydrogen engine on the back and it would also work in space even if your hydrogen ran out but as you can see you have four oxygen generators on the outside of this vessel all hooked up survival ready all your reactors there should be connected up with conveyors and so is the cockpit with yet another oxygen generator also connected to the hydrogen tank. So we've got four rocket launchers here, got six Gatling guns, and yeah, it's quite a feisty little ship. I've tested this against multiple cargo ships in the area. Sadly, there aren't any currently spawned in, but if one does come in, then, we'll, then I'll show you how that worked. Basically, I just thought of this design like I really wanted to when I get planets eventually to be able to well basically have a blueprint of a ship that will easily get from planet to space with okay costs I mean this ship will take you there you've got lots of cargo space a ring of small cargo containers all the way around the cockpit area and you'll be able to carry so much stuff you'll be able to build a base up in space and you'll have all the things you need so let's take it for a quick flight and we get from zero to a hundred meters a second extremely fast we're already there and it stops us just as fast Now, as soon as one of those cargo ships spawn in, I will show you how quickly this can just wreck that thing to pieces. Because they can't, it's so fast, those Gatling guns can't catch up with how fast it's going. So, you, they'll never be able to catch how fast I'm going and never hit me. So let's just head back to my base. Over there. It's not much of a base, it's just the starting platform where I started. <coughs> So yeah, I'll cut here and I'll come in as soon as a cargo ship spawns in. Okay guys, so we're back and it's been a while and didn't find anything and I spawned in this Hydra class Corvette IMDC and the second I did that a private sale popped in so I'm going to quickly destroy the private sail just because I can <coughs> and then I'm going to go for the slightly harder challenge of the Hydra class Corvette. Now bear in mind I'm a terrible dogfighter because I've hardly had any multiplayer experience and I'm more of the uh, build ships, design ship sort of person rather than the dogfighting person but I'm pretty sure I can take down private sail unless it one shots my cockpit last time I heard they don't have missile turrets so it's all good almost there I like the fact that we can get this so fast with this thruster. The reason I'm not turning off my inertial dampeners is, is because Pirate Sail is moving up at the same well, rather fast rate, so I'm just like continuously clicking. There we go, he's shooting me. But I'm pretty sure we can take him out, we've already got him smoking. I must have done an update on my targeting because 
that thing seems to be able to do a lot better targeting than it used to. Yeah, we've taken out another solar panel. I wreck this thing. There we go. Get the message disabled. Get that gatling gun he's got there. Cool. I think he took out something on my ship, but nothing too important. Let's disable his emergency beacon. There we go. I don't think he'll be needing any assistance anymore. Cool, so you saw how fast I took that down with the ship. Didn't even use my Gatling guns at all. And only damage I can see are my two braking thrusters are damaged. And that's it. Right, thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment below saying what you think of my videos and I'll see you next time.